Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. The Tasks folder helps you organize and manage your workload. It keeps track of any tasks you have to complete and reminds you when they are due. You can also use tasks to assign work to colleagues. In this chapter, you will explore how you can use this feature to assign tasks to others and yourself and to manage the daily workload. You can open the Tasks folder by clicking the Tasks button in the navigation bar. If you click the Folders button in the navigation bar, you can then click the Tasks folder icon in the folder pane to display it that way too. By default, Outlook displays tasks within the Tasks folder using the To-Do List view. Tasks are listed in a pane down the screen by due date. In the Simple List view, tasks appear as a traditional list that you can then check off as you complete them. Overdue tasks are displayed in red and completed tasks are shown with a strike through. Each task has a check box to its left that you can click to check when you have completed the task. This will not delete the task from the list, but simply strikes it out so that you can tell it is completed. You can change how your tasks are displayed by clicking the down arrow or the more button that appears within the current view button group of the home tab. Then choose an option that best suits your needs. The options available under this menu are detailed, simple list, to-do list, prioritized, active, completed, today, next seven days, overdue, assigned, and server tasks. To delete a task from the list, you can select a task and press the delete key on your keyboard in order to remove the task from the list and send it to the deleted items folder. Alternatively, you can select a task and click the delete button in the delete button group of the home tab. To view the details of a task that you have placed into your tasks folder, simply double click on the required task and the task window will open. Once you have finished viewing the details of the task, you can close it by clicking the X in the upper right corner of the task window. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.